Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, as well Cancer Rising. A weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the uh, challenges that you will have to face throughout the week, Cancer, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. The third card here which represents the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the um, Page of Wands, and the last one, that it is the guidance that Saro is offering. We have the Tree of Cups. All right. So, uh, Tree of Pentacles, which is the topic of the week, is going to be catalyzed by the Ace of Wands. So, these are a passive neutrals in this particular case. What those two cards here are pointing, and not just only these two cards, but as a cumulative of the reading, because I do so the other cards, it is that uh, this week itself, it is a week where you are to collect a necessary means, necessary resources, and above everything else, a necessary support. For you to manifest a, uh, a thing that took a long time to develop or to, not to develop but to be planned so it's a, a plan or it's a thing that you do had in the back of your mind for quite a while you didn't have the circumstances right okay and this week it is where finally the circumstances are going to be just right so you can start manifesting it recently uh, i had a um something similar in one of my uh, live streams and one lady asked is this could be related to buying a car yeah definitely could be related to buying a, a car could be related about a making a relationship with someone that you had in the back of your mind for quite a while you know it could be related with purchasing a home it could be related with starting a new job as well but the thing is that up until this moment you like you, you lack the necessary means and above everything else, the necessary support. Now, because we do have the Ace of Wands, that kind of points that there is a, another angle that you can attack the thing here to the Tree of uh, or to the Tree of Pentacles. All right, there is more than one way how you can manifest that thing, and uh, or how you can manifest your plan. And for that reason, this week is going to be very very busy. There are going to be conversations. There is going to be a cooperation as well. There are going to be as well a how can I say it a, a negotiations 
in between you and uh, people around so you can have a valuable allies behind your back so you can have you know a, a support in general like a like a foundation and uh, that being said once you do have all that you're gonna feel quite confident to uh, explore this new gaining for uh, enterprise this new gaining for opportunity for yourself uh, uh, for the reason being that the opportunity uh, itself is going to be a big dimmer um, um, uh, when you look at it because um, how can I uh, describe it because you are going to feel yourself not quite prepared but in the same time you're going to feel that the time is ticking and now is the time that you need to exert actions in regards to it so what is going to be the challenge here that is to be the eight of pentacles and it is accompanied with the page of pentacles or it is catalyzed by the page of pentacles these are a passive supporters and the challenge it's the biggest challenge that you are to face is the understanding that even though it took quite of a time this plan to be uh, kind of like a um, shaped up in your head all right the the performance or the manifestation is going to take more even more than that so it's a, a long road and that itself it, it will be the challenge for yourself it will be a long road well, uh, that you can um, establish for example a, um, a a deep relationship with someone it's going to be a long road that you are going to meet someone for example or it's going to be a long road of you developing your personal business and so on and so forth so the whole the challenge is that these this uh, this manifestation it will require an, an excruciating devotion that you have to put into it i mean you need to put all of yourself into it additionally to that uh, as you may find yourself a bit discouraged uh, you may lack the conscientiousness that you need to exert as well um, behind your actions that you are to do and uh, as a result you know you may kind of like um, you may kind of lack the keen eye for these small details, for the subtleties of the endeavor, for the subtleties of the job, for the subtleties of, of establishing the relationship and so on and so forth. And therefore, the result, it could be that you may lack the determination to execute your plan at, uh, at that particular point, right? Because you may not feel confident enough or you may kind of like have this um, nagging feeling that it's at the end of the day it, it, it may not worth it at all well it does worth it okay because it is something that you want and good things they do come slowly i mean you have to work for them bad things are coming out of nowhere surprisingly fast you know rapid and uh, so on and so forth so yeah i mean fasten your silver uh, seat belts excuse me roll up your sleeves and start performing i mean it does look like that you do have everything right throughout the week and it's just you need to show to the universe that you do want it with your determination and with your performance as well so the positive aspect of the week is going to be the page of wands and that card is going to be capitalized by the king of pentacles we do have a person here which is youthful by nature and it is opened by everything new so i uh, so i do believe that that is a um, a faithful companion who is going to encourage you quite a lot as a matter of fact with these two cards this companion is going to put in an example for you that a thing, it doesn't matter, I mean a thing, it could be a relationship, it could be a business, you know, it does not belong to the one who is worthy for it, it does belong to the one who takes it. And for that reason, no matter how slumbered you feel, no matter how tired you feel as well, no matter how uh, underwhelmed you may feel or how underdogged you may feel if you do what it is necessary to take on your plan then you are going to have it so just to give you an example here you know you may have a person of interest that you may kind of like think that you are not good enough for them well this should not be a, a thought in your head i mean you just need to go ahead and grasp the opportunity all right just do what it is needed just kind of like display yourself in front of them especially with the eights of pentacles just show that you 
are free and you want to be with someone, you want to be with them. So that's the whole point of these two cards. A person who is going to be a faithful companion, who will always going to make you believe in your own personal strengths, that you are better than what you think, that you can raise the, 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 the level of your performance, that you can raise your expectations, that you can raise in general, uh, you know, um, your bar. If I may, uh, if I may express myself that way, and uh, this itself is going to um, have a severe impact on your own self confidence. It's, uh, what I mean is going to make you quite more confident that you are right now, which from its own point it will allow you to, you know. Um, how can I say it? Um, opening new enterprises for yourself, you know, experience new experience new stuff, new exhilarating stuff. And at the end of the day, with these two cards, uh, the Page of uh, Wands and the um, King of Pentacles, uh, they are very potent of uh, manifesting or taking up, or achieving, you know, a milestone that under a normal circumstances you couldn't. Right, so now is the time to do miracle. Now is the time to go for things that you haven't even dreamt for. And the last card, it is about guidance. And this is going to be the Three of Cups, uh, catalyzed by the King of Swords. So what we have here, it is uh, the shared vision of everybody. What I mean, it is that... Um, how can I say it? It is that regardless of, uh, well, it's difficult to describe it. Well, basically, you should not sit on a high horse. I mean, throughout the week, you are to find out that you are much stronger than you think you are, that you are much, much more influential than you think you are. In general, that you do have much more authority over yourself, over your life, over your endeavors, over the people that you are dealing with. And thus, you know, collecting the means necessary in order to develop your plan. Anyway, so when that happened, you know, people get intoxicated by power, right? People get intoxicated by results as well. And that is a thing that you should not do. As a matter of fact, these two cards here as a passive neutrals, they are urging you not to sit on a high horse and look from a above upon the others. But if you do have the chance to do it, it will be best if you do share your emotional benefits with them and your material benefits, if you will. Now, those two cards as well <clears throat> are saying another thing that's uh, some ideas or yeah, some ideas or some visions of the people which are around people that loves you people that are companion of yours, you know, from family, friends, co workers, and so on and so forth. Although they may not understand your situation right now, they may do have a, a thought that it will have a, a shred of uh, usefulness that you can take on and adopt to your plan, adopt to your strategy, if you will, and just making your strategy even more a bullet proof. So do not disregard people just because they do annoy you or do not disregard people just because the, you don't have use of them. That's the whole point. This is what I'm, I was trying to say. Just because you don't have a use of someone, do not disregard them because you may not know that um, right now you may not have a use of them, but in two days from now, you know, they may say something smart that is going to light up the bulb in your head and you will be able to kind of like making a severe progress based on what idea they gave you. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 18 to November 24, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.